up guys um, just had my pre-workout meal about to go to the gym um, basically another upper day got some bench rows um, some shoulder work I'm subbing in a couple more um, different exercises I think I'm doing some band pull aparts um, doing a hammer strength uh, rowing machine today so you know a couple different exercises but still the basic um, you know workouts that I've been doing the two times a week uh, same workout twice a week so um, what else feeling good um, my weight actually jumped like three pounds um, in like two days so the macros have been pretty much the same so I, my body is just like eating everything up now I mean I really feel like I got leaner and fuller and I gained three pounds so I'm not mad at that at all let's fix this I'm really bad with this camera always shaking I'll try hard for you guys though um, so yeah that's good news um, feeling you know better and better every day um, I'm on the third week of my program like I said, filling out, strength is coming back. Um, I never really felt that weak, you know, even when I, my first day back, I, I kind of felt like I never left, to be honest. So the strength was still there. It might not be 100%, um, maybe it was like 85%. And now it just keeps inching closer and closer, you know, getting back to where I, I was before my injury. So I have about one week left of PT. Um, probably going to do some more deadlifting and squatting next week in there. And then that should be it. Uh, my PT already gave me some exercises to do pre-workout. Um, I'm going to do a lot of glute activation, oblique and core activation work um, before legs. So, you know, I make sure that um, I'm really engaging those muscles, which help protect your lower back, especially during compound lifts. Um, so that's really important. That's something that I really haven't done before I got injured. So I'm glad I could, you know, take that away, you know, from this experience. Um, obstacles are just a learning experience. That's all it is. So I got injured. I need to brace better. I need to listen to my body more. Um, yeah, so that's really going to be it. Hopefully I start deadlifting and squatting, you know, next month, uh, September sometime. Um... Yeah, so this is going to be a quick vlog. I'll do my training for you guys, and then I'll probably do one meal after that. And I'll upload this um, as soon as possible. And, uh, yep, feeling good. Coming back, boys. Let's get it.
All right, guys, just got done training upper body. Um, I'm here at Giovanni's. Let's see if you can see this. Giovanni's there in the back. We're gonna get some pizza for post workout. Um, here's my buddy Rob Ali. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, man. I won't. Yeah, I'm Rob Ali. I'm competing in the USAPO in the 83 kilo class. I'm gonna be actually competing at Raw Nationals in October. So seven weeks out right now, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, just hit up some deadlifts and some accessory work for that. So we're gonna go get, get some, some pizza get in some order amazing to get that, food. the anabolic window. Um, if they want to reach you for any like powerlifting advice or anything like that, where can they reach you at? Um, you can reach me at Rob Ali Strength. That's Rob A L I Strength at gmail.com for business or coaching. I also have a YouTube channel which is under my name, Rob Ali, and Instagram is Rob Ali Strength as well. Awesome. Yeah, this is one of my really good friends. I've actually only known him for, I want to say, seven months. Le yeah, less than less than nine months. Yeah. Um, He's a deep dude, he's a really good guy. Um, he's just a, a student of the craft, both the powerlifting and life. Uh, we get along really well. So uh, glad to know this dude. Uh, enough of that, let's, let's get to some eating. All right? Let's do it. All right, man. Uh, enough of that, let's, let's get to some eating. All right? Let's do it. All right, man. All right guys, um, so we're about to eat here, as you can see. Got some pizza. Actually, you know what, show them what you have. We got a buffalo slice and a plain slice and Diet Coke. Nice, because you have to watch your macros, right? Yeah, I'm only going to have one of these today. I'll have the other one tomorrow. Okay. Got to stay uh, on that weight make sure you're not going high. Too yeah, late. I know. I got seven weeks out, so it's right. going to be a methodical drop. Yeah, how, mu how much do you weigh now? 186.6. And what's the weight class you have to be? 183. So I figured, you know, like about half a pound a week for now. Mm -hmm. Just slow drop. Nice. And uh, what do you got over there? All right, so I got a chicken parm hero with a Sprite with a lot of sugar for that insulin spike. <laughs> and then I got one scoop of whey. I told you guys that I really like to have um, any amount of whey protein and sh simple sugars after I train. Um, it's just something that I do. You have to do it now, but I feel like it helps me um, with the glycogen reuptake uh, way faster than if I just had like a very slow digesting carb and slow digesting protein. So I have um, kind of the best of both worlds here with the chicken parm and the uh, protein, the whey protein and the sugar. So uh, we are going to get to eating now and I will show you guys that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, um, just got finished eating with Rob. Uh, he just went home, had a good time. He's a really good dude. You should definitely check him out on YouTube. He's um, trying to get more content out there. Um, but once he does, you know, you guys will really see some awesome stuff. Uh, he's just starting out like me. Um, definitely check out his Instagram as well. Uh, at Rob Ali Strength. Um, so I got the training for you guys. Got a good meal. That hero is insanely good. Um, wow, yeah, that was amazing. I swear, I eat chicken parm heroes all the time, and like every time I eat one, it's like I just I haven't had one in like years. Like that's they're just always good to me. Um, so aside from that. I have about two and a half weeks left on my program, and then I will be switching up my exercises a little more, um, getting some squats and deadlifts in there. I feel too much like a bodybuilder. I really need some more compound lifts. Um, I really enjoy them a lot. So, yeah, things are coming out nicely now. Getting bigger, getting stronger and looking forward to getting to the point 
where I meet my contest prep and I begin. So I'm really just trying to ramp my strength up, ramp my um, muscle mass up, get back to normal with my back, and then the diet begins. So I'm actually really looking forward to just cutting. You know, it's, as a bodybuilder, you should enjoy at least both um, the dichotomy of putting on weight and losing weight. They both have their place. They both are essential for the sport. Um, and from a mindset point of view, you know, I really do enjoy leaning out, restricting my calories um, just as much as I do with eating, you know, whatever I want, you know, gaining a certain amount of weight um, per month. So that's what makes a bodybuilder, you know, the training, the dieting. Um, if you really hate doing, you know, either of those, you're going to have a lot of trouble. Um, the sport, you know, might not be for you. Do I enjoy it 100% of the time? Absolutely not. But most of the time, I absolutely love everything um, that the sport involves. So, um, Also, another thing, looking forward to learning how to pose correctly. Um, I'll be talking to my coaches about that to see the best avenue to go as far as that is concerned. I have Jeff Albert's posing book. Um, I'm sure that'll be a staple in, in my posing learning. And that's another interesting thing about the sport is um, posing is just so big. I mean, you could really outpose people. You could outwork people on that stage. Um, and that's something that I really want to get good at and I want to be the best at. Um, so these are things that you can control. You know, your conditioning, your posing, um, obviously retaining as much muscle as you possibly can, and, um, you know, all the finer points in between. But what makes a good bodybuilder is having the symmetry, having the muscle mass, and having the conditioning, and then displaying that to the best of your ability via posing. So that's really, that really sums up the judging right there. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to being an actual bodybuilder, um, in all aspects. I really have a lot of respect for the sport and, um, I just want to really do it, you know, I want to do the sport justice. I really want to put in, um, 110% in every single aspect and we shall see the results. So it should be awesome. Um, until my next vlog, um, I hope you guys, you know, are enjoying your summer, the little that we have left. Um, definitely love all the seasons. I'm looking forward to the fall. You know, when the, the leaves turn and they f and then they fall off the trees and kind of gets a little more crisp. You kind of have that first week of fall where. Um, you, uh, it's like a certain smell is in the air and the temperature drops just a bit. So, and I just really enjoy all the seasons. So looking forward to the rest of the summer, um, the start of fall and yeah. So I hope you guys are enjoying life. Um, stay up guys. I will see you in the next video.